it doesn't matter. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't turn that on. Hey guys, what is happening? How is everybody doing? Hope everyone is having a great, great day. Great yeah. week. Um, What's up, guys? Elias. Jeff Smith. All right, hang on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to see some five. I'm going to try something here. I just want to. No, that didn't do what I wanted it to do. Bobby. What's up, Bobby? What's up, David? Oh, here. Ugh. There we James. go. James. Now we got it. Oh. What's up, William? Franco, Alex, Paul, all of you guys, Johnny. What's going on, guys? Let's get the show on the road. I mean, I'd like to get out of here. I mean, I Hello guess. Hello from HKI headquarters. Secret headquarters. Exact. Uh, My room. I'm out of, I'm out of, you cannot. There we go. I just, I was out of frame. My, my shoulder was out of frame. All right. Now we have a year, guys. We haven't done this in like three three weeks. Three and a half years. Which I know seems like doesn't seem like that long. And we changed everything, so yeah, it doesn't help. No, it doesn't help at all. Yeah. Every everything is weird, that is for sure. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking what I want to do next time, Saturdays. I mean, I get this car's in the way, but I feel we need to shift this whole thing that way. So now that I see it, I kind of want to like tilt it oh angle it and no, angle that'll it. be tough yeah. we have a dual monitor setup that's going on right here we'll show you later when we uh when we have when we me. do a look we're gonna do a little unboxing today because today is the official it's out it's out it's available the irta2 is is available today which we'll talk more about mm -hmm. in a little bit um we just wanted to go through the show Hey, Lewis, what's happening? What's up from Portugal? Uh, first? First things first, though. First, yeah. please keep chiming in, saying hi. Let us know what mm -hmm. the weather's like. Let us know what's going on. We're going to go over here because we do this little thing called the 12-volt clean wire club. Mm -hmm. And the purpose of the 12-volt clean wire club is for you to show off your clean wiring. Every week, Fernando scours through, even when we were uh, not doing this. He still scoured through and put up a bunch of people that are on there. And this week is no different. Let's go to camera number two here. And we can see who do we have? Mr. Edward. He's got a Ultra DSP. It has DSP a Helix three. DSP. DSP I think it's like the Mini. No, and it's a three? DSP 3. Okay. Yeah. And okay. then we got the Epicenter. We got a big DC audio. Crazy. We got some JL amplifiers here. We got the factory. Amplifier relocated uh, onto the floor. What kind of car is that? It uh, looks like a Chevy. Chevy GMC. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nice. Shoehorned all that stuff in there. That's IRTA cool. is done, Lewis. Yes. Yep. yep, we'll talk about that in yep. a couple minutes. But anyways, good job. Congratulations. What's up, Clint? Um, Happy Tuesday, my friend. It's for you. Be, it's good to be back. <laughs> uh, this, so... We didn't stop working when we when we stopped the show. We just stopped doing YouTube live shows. Uh, well, live shows and, and obviously yeah. the other stuff because you know most of that stuff gets done after hours. All of it gets done after hours, and with Christmas and New Year's, it's hard to edit and spend time with your family and do all that. And Christmas is really important mm -hmm. to both of us. You have a little kid. I have Haley, which is just as exciting. Oh, a little kid. <laughs> yeah, which is our little kid. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We're gonna have to figure this out because I, I feel like I'm I'm looking here. I, I, I thought that so I feel like the camera. We're yeah. gonna have to put the camera back in place. What's that, Scott? Mm, yeah, yeah. Maybe tip the screen. Mike. So. Yeah. This For is sure. all that's gonna go through my head throughout the whole show is how I don't like the new setup that we did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then we decided that we're not gonna like it. Yeah, we're yeah. Change but we just so. had to get it done. Happy Tuesday morning for sure. And we spent so much time doing this. So, yeah. Hey, um, Jose. So let's just hop right into it. One of the things, one of the for the last couple, uh, one of the things that we had to do last week, along with not do a show, was get into uh, the DNF tool drawer. 
uh, which Fernando has pulled up here on his laptop. Uh, we had previewed this top page here, mm -hmm. and then we said we're going to change everything. And as you can see now, there's new new logos. Beautiful pictures. That, that more highlight what the page has to offer. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you see the, the nice IRTA2 logo there in the, in the corner. Um, now, unlike the rest of it, this is actually going to take you to a buy site, which we'll show you. Later. And... Whereas the rest stay the same. I didn't go through and change any of the items yet. Some of the stuff we're going to go in when we have some time and, and do that. But getting it all running was pretty cool. Uh, for those of you that haven't seen it, like I said, we have one here. So at about the half hour mark, we'll open this thing up and we'll take a look at it and show you guys. But in the meantime and in between time, what's up from Jax, the quality auto fighting this COVID BS? Oh, I no, know, right? man. We we are all in that. Are you the digging? Same boat. Are you digging Boba Fett and Disney? I had to stop watching it because I can't just watch one episode. I think it's kind of not set up for that. High five, bangers um, in the house. Hey guys, where can I get a build sheet for a twenty twenty one Chevy Subbox, or what's a good computer software to do? As far as getting a build sheet for the box, I don't I don't think you're going to just find some random build sheet on the internet that's going to allow you to just be like, hey, here you go, do this. Uh, there are services and there are people that will offer that. I know Mark Cardio Fab did offer oh, stuff like that. that. Yeah. Um, there are some services that will build the box for you. SRQ, MTI. Mm -hmm. uh, then you have uh, A-Trend. But if you want to do it yourself, of course, you're going to have to dig in and like do it yourself. Take some measurements, figure things out. Yeah. Uh, cubic feet of airspace is 12 by 12 by 12, usually 1728. You can take that information and the subwoofer for manufacturer will give you how much airspace they recommend. Um, mm -hmm. You can always contact them uh, and ask them for more help as far as like, will this airspace work? But there's not really too many people out there that are just going to be like, boom, here you go. Here's, here's a up, cut Bill? sheet. Um, I, don't, I, don't ever, I don't think I've ever seen that. But yeah. you might find some on some DIY sites. Yeah, uh, it's nice and twenty negative twenty five up here in northern Minnesota. Can't wait to warm up at Knowledge Fest. No doubt, right? No kidding. Okay. No yeah. yeah, Knowledge Fest is fast approaching. That'll be next month. I don't. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't like. We have all those dates, but I just don't know what day anything is. So we have Knowledge Fest is going to happen in February. Mm -hmm. And then, so we'll be in Vegas in February. Right Can't there. wait for that. Oh, you have it? Oh, of course. Oh, that's number four. There we go. So exhibit floor uh, doesn't give me a date. It's right there. Is it there? Yeah. Where's the date? It's uh, 24. <laughs> There's no, no date. No, Where's the no, date? It's not there. I don't, I don't see a date. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. I thought I would Jesus have taken it. I was ready. Mm. Yeah. You, all right. Well, you Fire find me now. It. No, go ahead. Find it. I'll, I'll take care of this. Uh, and then the month after that in March, we'll be doing the, the um, Mobile Solutions Master Tech Expo, and that'll be in Arizona. All right. See, it was right there. Oh, did you find it? Okay. That's fine. All right. So, and it will be in Arizona. So oh, I'm sorry. Right we'll here. be in Las Vegas, February 18th. To the 20th. So we'll actually be there on the 17th. To 17th the 21st. to the 21st. Yeah, so that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, can't wait for that. We're going to go see Hoover Dam. Uh, hey, what aftermarket head unit can I put in a 2017 Tahoe? I haven't seen any only in Chevy Silverados. Anyone. Any any double din, single din, whatever you want to do. It's it's the same same thing. It's not. There's no, there's no tricks. It's 2017. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, you, sh you should be okay. Uh, most of the dash between the Silverado and the Tahoe are the same. There are variations, but most of the time it is the same dash. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, like a high 10, if you're looking for that perfect fit type, should work. Uh, really where you run into the problem on that one is integrating in. If it's got bows, it's not, you're, you're out of luck. Um, I think Metro might make a Bose interface now, but for the most part, it's put new amps in and, and go from there. Uh, Richard, right here. Oh, that's not Richard. Uh, Let's is scroll. Richard? Scroll. I'm trying, trying, trying. I don't want to lose it. Right there. there As you go. say, you're not going to lose it. They never actually go away. That's one of the new no, features. No, but. No, it'll never go away. It'll always be there. All right. So, Morel Hybrid 602s. 62, what is your opinion? No, you had them, not me. Oh, I love them. 
like that's i love those it's got a really loud tweeter the tweeter was excess i was like wow so I if you're gonna get in to you're not gonna get disappointed definitely no they were they were definitely so you at kfast and wow bill you're going to both awesome who freeman oh, he's nice. going to both all right uh, hi guys, what DSP amp would you recommend for a 17 GT Stang shaker system? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Um, 17 GT Stang. It okay. So if you can find an amp, if, I'm sorry. If you can find a DSR one, uh, that would be ideal because the DSR one should plug right into that. So you can AR use the uh, iData harness, plug right in, and get your eight channel preamp output, and then you can go to whatever amplifiers you want uh that would be that would be the easiest way to do it um off the top of my head so all right uh hey octavio how you doing buddy anything special for karate at ces did you see anything i didn't see a damn thing i was looking <laughs> I was looking. Uh, I saw a big sign that says Sony. That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was it. I mean, so Ken Kenwood, like new Kenwood stuff that's coming out. Uh, it's it's like running and change stuff. Here's the problem, as you guys know, nothing has changed as far as the electronics go, mm -hmm. and everybody is just kind of be doing more of the same. So like new stuff will be coming out, but I don't think we're gonna like. Some manufacturers are hoping to see it at the beginning of the year, but now they're saying already here it is week three and they're like, nah, that ain't going to happen. Yeah. Um, so Omar. no Vi. Yeah. I know what that is. <laughs> um, so I, third quarter, believe it or not, is probably when we're going to see a lot of the cool stuff. Um, uh, CS definitely was dead, but We'll have, like, there's new Alpine stuff coming. There's new Kenwood stuff coming. I'm sure there's new Pioneer stuff coming. It's not going to be overwhelming, though. I can tell you right now, um, don't get don't get too excited because this is not the time to get excited. This is just time to, like, please, can we just get equipment? Right. Only thing from CES was Alpine released new Halos. Uh, and, and Alpine actually has a – they did post mm -hmm. pictures that they have the new – Alpine is finally catching up to where everybody was two and a half, three years ago. So we're finally getting wireless Android Auto Apple CarPlay from uh, them. Uh -huh. It's like, wow. And we're finally getting a high-res screen. Oh, wow. Um, and they're semi – the price point, the pre-price points that they've posted are pretty good, which means they're probably not building them, but I don't know. Uh -huh. uh, but we'll have to just wait and see. There is, there is some – other things coming. We we we. Uh, you ever heard of J L Troy? They sell electrical supplies. No. Mm -mm. Bob, you don't have to pick us up at the airport. We get in at like the crack of dawn, and we actually have already rented a car. So you don't you don't have to, man. Yeah, okay. you don't have to. Yeah, we rented we rented a car. We got some running around. We have to do. We actually have a a really full schedule when we get there Thursday. Oh. Um. So it's okay, but thank you. I know you do it. I know for a, I know you do it, but yeah, we, we have we have we're squeezing in a trip, but we're getting in there at like eight o'clock in the morning to do it. So and I know you will. Like, yeah, yeah, thank you. I know uh, you'd still do it. But uh, what front camera do you guys like using for the Kenwood Seven Hundred Six? This is for my Camry. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year! Happy New Year, man. So when it comes to front cameras, it's just tough because like I don't have a go-to front camera. It just depends. So typically what we'll do is, uh, you know, we'll just go on the echomaster.com website and figure out which one is going to fit the best into that. And yeah. usually it's one of their little, you know, they make, they make like a mirror cam. I know Jeff would know the model number on it that has, uh, that just like it, it mounts upside down and it looks really nice. It's got like these swooping things. And that's the one I typically end up going with. I, I don't know what the model number is. Jeff, do you know the model number? All right. What is Jeff saying? Anyways, hopefully I get to see you guys in Vegas. Okay. If you're going to be there, you're going to see us because well, we maybe. will be there for a long point, a long amount of time. Will there be a 2022 Audi Patrol clean wire calendar? I know, right? Well, that no, would be that, cool, right? I know, but no, there won't be. I I, think that so. sucks. Yeah, that was... No. Yeah, that was that was really fun. I enjoyed yeah. doing that, but that was a Chris thing, and yeah, yeah. 
Do you think we will ever see an amp have a built-in kicker key lock technology? Yes, 100%. Okay, so you got to understand, as much as like Kip likes to wink and do all this stuff, all this stuff is on the roadmap. Kicker key technology has definitely kind of been, well, it's definitely been like, oh my gosh, we weren't expecting it to be this exciting. Um, and it's just, it's doing really well for them. The problem is they take two years to do anything straight up. It takes them two years to do, takes them two years to tie their shoes. Most manufacturers takes them two years. To, they're, they're, they don't fast track shit. Combine that with the pandemic that's going on right now and all the BS associated with that. You just can't do things fast. So, yes, were we supposed to see like something like this sooner, like a bigger, like a, a, a key 400, you know, like I always call it, the 404, mm -hmm. you know, were we? Yeah, of course we were. But who knows? You know? All right. Before I check the specs on the pack cam. 10 FFN. There you go. There you go. Yeah, that's the one. Um, so, yeah, I mean, and there again, that, I, I, I don't know. If I was just making that up like a 404. I don't know. It could be an 804 or 1604. I have no idea. Are we going to get a DSP? Sure. Well, why wouldn't we? I mean, these are all just natural transitions of things that we know they'd be stupid not to make. Not to say that manufacturers don't do stupid things, but that'd be kind of like a no brainer for them. I feel yeah, like I mean, it's just time. Like we just can't get these things right now. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it sucks. All right. What would you recommend to boost preamp signal going to use some RCA Y splitters to keep the factory amp feeding the subwoofer and amp and add an amp an additional sub. However, when using the Y splitters, the voltage drop going in to the factory amp and it, it has is no, gain, no control. gain control to get it back up. The level is needed, which is 6.5 at full volume, 50 hertz tone. Great channel. Um, believe it or not, you're not going to have voltage drop. It's, it's, I mean, if you're worried about a line driver, the audio control LC1i mm -hmm. is a line driver. Yeah. And that will, you, it's a two channel input, high level and or line level input, and an RCA output. So it, it'll line drive up as high as you want. You okay? No, yeah, I, w I was not. Not prepared? No, not, not for that one. You just don't have their website up? I mean. I do. But I didn't put it out. That's sad. You yeah. know why that's sad? Why? Because back there, let me try that one more time. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you're not prepared. Our control is a proud sponsor <laughs> of the show. So that's right. Yes, this product will do the job for you. But we'd also like to thank Audio Control for sponsoring the show. They do make two versions of a line driver. Uh -huh. They make this piece here, which is the LC1i. That is a great little line driver. It's also high level and it's very affordable. If you're just doing sub, that's the way to go. Hang on there. Take the, no, no, that's okay. We, we, okay. we can see and, it. And they also make, go back to, they also there. make the, what is that called? The, that Matrix Plus. Thank you. They also make the Matrix Plus. The Matrix Plus is not high level. I'm sorry, it's not line level. It is just, let's do this. DSP for sure. Yes. All right. Uh, the Matrix Plus has six channel input, six channel output. It is only high level, but it will give you, uh, it's a line driver. So if you're looking for all six channels, this is great. If you have a low voltage head unit, something like two volts of output, one volt of output, or if you just have, I don't know, crappy, inexpensive radio, you don't feel like buying a new one and you just want to spice your life back up again, pick up the matrix. You can find it at audiocontrol.com. Okay. Right. Thank you for sponsoring the show. Oh, speaking of audio control, um, the see, dig into there and see if the uh, epicenter epicenter micro is listed in there. Epicenter, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It? Epicenter micro, oh, right there. Yeah, so you guys have been obviously asking about the epicenter micro. It's finally listed on the website, so you can available get available soon. So you're gonna see this uh, right now. 
uh, two weeks. So right now is they're taking pre-orders right now, and they're expected to be in stores in two weeks. So that was Monday last. That was last week. So we're about a week and a half. They'll be in stores, and once they're in stores, and that has filled, then they'll be available on the website. So you'll be able to buy them direct from them. Uh, Matrix is awesome too. Yes, mm -hmm. Christian, you would know. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll see what All I right, like. what did I say the other day? You said on reverse polarity that the kicker two and three quarters stops at ten thousand, but I checked and it says twenty k. And just make sure you don't like the sound of it. Um, yes, it will play up to twenty k. A subwoofer will play up really, really high too, but you never let it do that because it has a natural roll off. It doesn't list the intensity of what it'll do at twenty k. We weren't happy with the performance we got out of it. We were comparing it to a speaker that outshined it drastically because it had a tweeter. And the problem we ran into was that when you had a coaxial in the rear and that as the high frequency transducer in the dash, it sucked bad, real bad, because it just didn't have any vibrance. None of that sound that you would expect to come from a speaker was there it just it just didn't do anything it had a lot of this if there was a tweeter it would have been great as a three-way set it would be great nice mid-range but as a middler didn't 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 uh not gonna happen yeah. not gonna happen at all didn't like it uh so we switched out those for some three and a half with tweeters destroyed it which is what they wanted so uh, for a 2015 Silverado Nambos, would you rather use a key lock or an Amp Pro Flick Dip Switch 3? Dip Switch 3. <laughs> I'm going Dip that Switch was awesome. 3. That was awesome. I got a new phone today, so it's doing like updates in the background, so I apologize if you randomly hear it. Um, kicker Key 808. I know, yeah, right? Exactly. That would be I want a Kicker Key 606. Um, will there be a harness to add an aftermarket radio to 2020 Co Colorado, Colorado without bows and still keep on star? I'm going to say yes at some point, uh, but I don't know when. The only reason why I say yes at some point is because they've managed to make that harness for every other GM on the planet. So there'd be no reason why they wouldn't do that. What's up, Alex? What's Hope up, you Alex? Us totally fumbling through our audio control ad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell we are out of practice. <laughs> How are the Blam speakers? Ooh, I like I love them. them. They're nice. They got the yeah. two ohm. The two ohm is really cool. Yeah. Uh, especially when you teamed up with their small amplifiers. Ooh, or yeah. like the, um, the little ones. Uh, the, uh, the match the match yeah mm -hmm. uh finally catch you guys live love the content any opinion on road kill both sides of front doors or road kill the interior side of all four doors hmm. um that's funny yeah so do you have that door panel that you were working on did you finish it uh yeah mm -hmm. i just gotta put the logo on it I do. so there's three parts to every door panel there's the outside, the inside, and then the card. Um, I was just gonna hold it up because, but yeah, oh, go ahead. Not and turn. even on. No, I know it's it's. It, 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 might as well turn it on though. All right, hang on. Let's get all, all this right. stuff going. That do its thing. So this is the door card or door panel, as you would call it. This particular uh, customer supplied us with some Stinger silver stuff. I do recommend the black, but hey, whatever works for you. Um, so as you can see, this whole area got covered. You like to use the ultimate on the. Door I, I like to, if for this, I would love to. Uh, I will. I will use the ultimate. Yes, yeah. for sure. Um, yeah. But like Dean say, the customer provide us with this, so we're using this. Let's see if this is gonna work. Yeah. I don't know, maybe. Please check video source. I did. All right, keep going. All right. So let's see. My customer, what? My customer had a glow porch and he's home today. Oh, oh nice. Very good. 
So he cuts them open, y'all get like, you know. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Go down. No, that, that, I'm sorry. Go that other way. Keep going. That's it. Oh, okay. It's all over. Um, all right. Yeah, do your thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is this not working? So, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, did we answer this one? What are what are your thoughts on the Kicker Comp R's versus the P3s? I have two Kicker Comp R's tens in my Focus hatchback, but I really waiting to upgrade or wanting to upgrade. I'm sorry. So, King Kicker Comp R's or P3? I think that's a lateral move. I really don't yeah. think you're you're. You're not really. I mean, I, I will upgrade it for the T ones, T one Ts. Yeah, or a twelves. You know. Well, yeah. I, I mean, if if tens are all that's going to fit, then I would I would look at the Rockford T series. You know, because yeah, I, I, perfect. There's not a lot of difference between a P three and and uh, yeah. I mean, as far as there, there's some sound differences, but there's right. no like, oh my god, that's going to be so much louder. It depends what box. Yeah. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Ready to see uh, it? Yeah. All right, guys. So we're we're about a half hour in, and yeah. um, oh, you know what? Before we do that, uh, before Christmas, you guys remember we gave away the Epicenter five thousand of five thousand, mm -hmm. and it's going off to Canada. Canada. Canada to a Alan. Aaron, I'm sorry, Aaron Beaver. He won okay. it on the back. It has all the signatures. We'll put it right here. There's Alex, <laughs> Chris Kane, there's Matthew, there's Fernando, there's me, there's the date, and of course the five star. So this will be headed out. This will be headed out today. We just wanted to congratulate Aaron for winning this and thank everyone that participated and the cool thing that we gave away five to five baby yeah good job i really job. wanted to keep this for myself i'm not gonna lie yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry yeah all right I, so I, yeah I, de I definitely didn't want to give that one away i know all right that was tough that was tough man that was right. tough uh all right hold on hold on before we hold on i want to see what, uh johnny says uh if you can still find old gen they're very very old if you have flax and want to upgrade to evo it's worth it so there you go johnny's answering somebody's question enjoy that congratulations okay all right hold on when do you do full baked potato on four-door car how much weight do you think you have added to the car so when you do a full baked potato how much weight do you think like that door panel is heavy mm -hmm. um so okay Let's let's look at it strategic. How many pieces did you use that on? Uh, All right. Well, you three. did this door already. How many? Yeah. Do you remember how many sheets? That you was used? four. Use four sheets for mm -hmm. the whole thing. For the whole thing. So what you'd want to do is four sheets. This is a Ford Flex. It's a little bit bigger, so it'll be about the size of a pickup truck. But four is still a good size. Now keep in mind, this one is like all. Full. It's full baked potato. That's Back, what you're saying. Front full baked potato. I have a picture, so, so I would share it in four Instagram. Four sheets. So mm -hmm. if you can go on and figure out the weight per sheet. Yeah. that they should list on their website how much each one weighs. Mm -hmm. Then multiply that by four, and that'll tell you how much weight you're adding to your door. Yeah. Simple enough. All right. I like simple. So, All right. As we right. announced earlier, the IRTA is available for you to purchase. Uh-huh. If you head over to the website and click on the IRTA, it'll take you to a new window. So it's a page within a page, and it shows you the only thing you can click on, which is the IRTA. And then, of course, you have your choice. We have included plenty of pictures. This is what comes in the box. This is the optional. you will need. You'll, you have to have this. It's yeah. not optional. It's mandatory to have, right. but it does not come with it. Uh, this is just other pictures of the inside if you're going to be using it with something other than an iPod so if you're going to be using it with an IRTA I'm sorry a, a DMRTA from audio control a PA3X there's a little jumper inside that we walk you through the process of how to remove it 
so that the signal adjusts for it. Some random pictures. And then, of course, we have videos underneath that will walk you through some of the process. This, of course, is going to increase as we do more and more videos throughout the season. Yeah. And then down in the bottom, this is the uh, copy of the owner's manual that it comes with. However, what we'd like to do today is just we have one here. Fernando, we are going to switch to the Fernando cam. Yeah. Why don't you, I was going to say, get your camera. You, you switched. Uh, that was four. I'm sorry. Bye no, bye. no. What are, what are you doing? You got to just hold your camera up. They were just. <laughs> no, I have a, I have a video, so that's why. Oh, yeah, no, okay. no, no, no. That was yeah, before a, that. Never all right, mind. All right, it's all it's all good. Let's just let's just go here. We yeah. had other plans, but we're we're falling behind. So this is what you're going to get. It's going to come uh, tools for installers, buy installers. Yes, you can kind of think of like this is the FUBU equivalent of a tool. Smash Force Productions, of course, is us, the company that made it. On the back, you know, tooldrawer.com is a place you can get it. It does not have – yours isn't going to come. This this means this is number one. This was the first one we got. Um, of course, the box. When you open it up, of course, big thank you. Thank you for your support and buying one of these. For those who don't know, it's $249. When you open it up, you'll first thing you're going to find is that instruction manual. This is very simple to use. We've, we've made it as easy as possible, and it's going to walk you through, give you a couple ideas. And then down here on the bottom, it shows you how to make uh, the headphone to RCA adapter if you're going to be using it with something other than an iPhone. Now, when I say something other than an iPhone, the, the natural question right here, it says Android warning. Uh, this device is not made for Android. It could damage your device. We are not liable for any damages if you use inappropriately. That's what we have for Android. Um, this, this was made to handle an iPhone. Uh, will it work on an Android phone? I have no idea. There was none that we could test. Uh, so if you want to do something like that, be careful. Um, and don't call me if it breaks, but call me if it works. Uh, first piece of foam. You get a lot of foam with this. Paid for a lot of foam. Uh, the device itself is the next thing up. It uses a standard Phoenix-style connector, the same thing that you get on an audio control amplifier. The reason why we wanted to do that is so that you could make all the test leads you could possibly think of. Uh, anything. Anything you wanted to do, you can make and make more. These are easy enough to get. And, of course, it just unplugs. Tip it up a little bit. There you go. Watch. Mm -hmm. Watch. Watch. Yep. Okay. I'm trying to. So it's it's easy enough if you have these laying around or if you want to buy more. It's called a Phoenix connector, and you can make whatever you like with it. It's two-channel, so you have left and right switches here. So you can turn them on and off independently. When you turn them both on, it's going to sum the signal together. This way you'll see your all-pass filters if you have something backwards. Uh, the RCA inputs work the same way. It is line high. It is low level and high level. It'll take up to 20 volts of input. So this will work in most environments. When you pull the next piece of foam out in the bottom, here is your four pin. This is a four pin, four conductor adapter. So this is not a standard three pin aux. It's, it's a four pin and that is designed to plug into your Apple aux headphone jack adapter and then this will plug into the bottom of your phone did that did this one is not included this is not included you do have to buy this separately um you can pick these up for about 10 bucks if your phone did not already come with one but yes you'll need that um, now the other thing i want to say is if you i would definitely recommend you to buy the original from apple yeah oh yeah because some of these ones that they just sell for like ten dollars or like five dollars or whatever that might not work so yes uh how many do i have mm, a lot you're all good all good oh yeah believe it or not you can't just buy one from china you gotta buy you gotta buy a whole bunch of them <laughs> um and the engine you know so and the engineer is already paid so but yes so we had this design this is a rubber boot so when it gets dropped on the floor because we know you guys are going to drop it but don't drop it don't drop it please don't drop it but at least it'll have some protection. It's pretty thick. It's nice. It feels good in the hands. It is, yeah, it's pretty. Can you chew it? Uh, I, I mean, if you really want to, but yeah. So we came up with the little rib design here on the side, as opposed, you know, so it's smooth here on the top. This is where your, your adapter plugs in. That way you can hold it in your hand. Um, yeah. So here's an iPhone 13, 13 Pro Max, just to give you an idea of size 
Yeah, we wanted to make sure that it wasn't that much bigger. You can use your iPhone as you can use an iPhone. Anything that has the lightning connector can be your screen. Now, as far as the apps that you want to use, um, we're using the Studio 6 mm -hmm. RTA app, but pretty much any RTA app will work. And there are some that are out there that are better than others as far as cool features and things like that. But, yeah, so it's available now. You can go to the website. You can order one. Uh, let's just play along. So if I say purchase, just click here. You want to purchase one? No, I've, I've done played with this enough. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Uh, email address. And then continue on through uh, shipping costs, taxes, and all that other stuff. Oh, wow. awesome. Why are you having such a hard time? Wow. <laughs> I didn't want to grab it. I mean, you could have just set the camera over there, I man. Know. Just turn it off. Am I ready? Yeah, yeah, we're done. Oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> this is what, dude, this, this is how it is when you, you know, you take a couple weeks off, you come back and... I think we just add a lot of stuff in here. That's you know, things, are, uh, things aren't going to go as smooth as planned. Yeah. You know, got to get All back right. into the groove. All right. So there you go. IRTA is available now. Get them. Uh, turnaround time on shipping. It's about a week. It's going to be about a week, you know, depending on where you're at, it's going to take a little bit longer. Um, I don't think, you know, obviously it's, it's, we, it's being shipped through the postal service. Uh, now if you do live out of country, so if you live out of the USA, um, there is an email address where you can contact us and we can arrange to have it shipped. So there'll be a, a, obviously the shipping cost will be more, but it's not that we don't want you to have one. So we'll figure out how to get it to you. And then you just pay the shipping along with all the, you know, just like anything else. It's just the service we're using. It was very difficult to do something outside of just us. So if you're in Canada, Mexico, or across the pond as it were, or down under or wherever it is you want to be, mm -hmm. just reach out through the email, uh, We'll do it through, it's done through PayPal. So hopefully I'll have PayPal and we'll figure it out. Or you can just mail us a check and we'll do it the hard way. But let's hope we don't have to do that. All right. All right. All right here we go. Serious crazy going from the guy that threw the manual to the <laughs> and radio cage now to this. Dude, I miss throwing the, the manuals and radio That's cages. That's crazy, right? Those were good times. God, we got hammered for those, man. Oh, Some yeah. people are just like, yeah. oh, my God, I can't believe you're throwing a piece of crappy metal on the ground. But, yeah. hey, you hey. know, you have a hope, you have a dream, you run along, see what happens. Hey, Jets, hope you're well. Wanted to ask, if I measure the RCA voltage out of a GM61 Amp Pro, should I be getting 5 volts with head unit volume at 1? That is a negative. So how the output volume, how the voltage, the, remember, the voltage is your signal. Zero volts, you have no signal. At five volts, you have maximum signal. So that's how it works. How you would try to get the five volts out of it is take a test tone, like a 1,000 hertz or 40 hertz or something like that, and play it at zero dB, not negative five, zero dB, and then test the output voltage at max volume. That is going to give you how that all works. Now, if you'd like to see that actually working, we do have a playlist that we did a couple of years ago called Amp Radio Dinos, in which we took a radio and we dynoed them, meaning we checked the output voltage, looked at the clipping and all the other fun stuff. It'll just give you an idea more so of how you, if you want to test your equipment to see how to test it. Obviously, it doesn't have an amp pro or anything like that. But if you're looking just to see the process of how it's done, we walk you through it in there so you can have a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun to do. I don't, I, it was a lot of work though. That's why we don't do it anymore. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll, no, we won't. All right. Well, did you find it? Did I win? <laughs> R2, you're always the winner in my book. Yeah, pretty much. And we'll see you in a couple weeks. You never know. Yeah. Christmas is over, but hey. All right. I can't find nothing. Um, um, what's yeah. up, Julio? All right. Hold on. Uh, Matthew. Uh, Matthew. Should I bring, should I bring the, gosh, uh, you should bring the IRTA to Knowledge Fest. We will have a limited quantity of IRTAs at Knowledge Fest. If you do, if, 
if you do want to purchase them from us, um, yes, we will be, there is an opt. So on the website, once you get through the enter your email address, there is an option. Hold on. Go back to camera two. There is an option right here where it says pick up. And if you select pick up, then I come down here and it says, if you stop by the store or an event, we have them with us select pickup at checkout. Taxes and other fees will apply. If we are not standing in front of you, select the shipping option. Okay. So what this is basically saying that at something like a Knowledge Fest or a Master Tech Expo, or if you walk in the front door or something like that, we'll still sell you it through the website just for bookkeeping purposes. Um, however, we can then just hand you one and you don't have to pay the shipping cost. So that's so much fun. It is. It was, that was trust me, man. It's, 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 it's so much the dumb little things that you just have to think of when doing this that, yeah. you know, you're going to get it wrong, but uh, you're going to get it wrong. Oh, there he is. Go, go let him in. He can just kind of sit in the background Oregon. for what's now. What's that from Oregon? Ah, uh, what's your honest opinion on the AC? Audio control DSP versus Helix or Arc Audio. Um, as far as my honest opinion goes, they are all great DSPs. Depending on your level of user capability, one may be better than the next. We always tell people the same exact thing, and I'll repeat it again. Download the software. Figure out which one makes the most sense for you, which one will work best in your scenario, and then go with that. That's, it's really that simple. They're all going to get you to the same place, which is sounding great. It's just a matter of how much effort you want to put into it. And what are you actually looking for? Uh, we will have them here at the shop if you come and see us. Right now, I don't, but I'm going to bring a box of them. Or I'm going to bring a couple of them here just to have to sell. I just I didn't today because, honestly, even though we've already sold some, I didn't even think about it. Think about it. Jesus. Uh, thoughts on the Hertz DSP, on the new Hertz DSP. Oh, the I'm little excited. one. I'm excited. Ooh, I'm excited to see, that to see what yeah. the price is going to yep. be on that one. We Just, talked about it on the news. Um, it's like, it's like, it's almost like everything we wanted with a DSR-1. I just want to test it. I do. I want to test it because the problem that I have with a lot of these little DSPs like that is that they're cool. It's a great idea, but then they sound like crap. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. So that's that's what I'm I'm excited to to test it if we able to. So, hey, hey, from North Carolina, what's up? All right, uh, Matthew was here. Matthew Palombo from Audio Control also. So, what's up, Matthew? Um, hold on, there is. Uh, oh, are you selling test leads? Or right no, now, no. right now we're not selling test leads because it's easy enough just to go on Amazon and pick up test leads that you want. Mm -hmm. uh, at some point, we may look into selling our own, you know, like test. building test leads and stuff like that with Phoenix connectors and all that, or selling extra Phoenix connectors. Um, right now, it's just we didn't want it's, it's, we spent enough time. We just wanted to get them out there. Uh, and the whole idea behind the Phoenix connector on it was so that you can build whatever test leads you want. You know, you can pick up. And the other thing, too, is like if I have to buy the test leads off of Amazon or I have to buy them from China, it's like I, I, it's like you could pick up a really nice set of test leads for 10 bucks off of Amazon. Um, yeah. Exciting stuff, as always, Matthew. That's it. Um, so it, it's it's kind of hard. I don't want to charge somebody, you know, 50 bucks for a set of test leads because you know, by the time I buy them, by the time we make them, then we ship them. It's like, uh, I, the whole perp, the whole idea behind the IRTA two was to make an RTA that will measure electrical signal that is affordable, mm -hmm. because that is the heart. That dude, RTAs are expensive and they're not getting any cheaper. But microphone RTAs, well, they're pretty cheap. You can almost use your phone for that. Or you can get an iTest mic or a U-Test mic mm -hmm. um, or Andy's uh, UMI-1. UMI one. Mm -hmm. and, and those are all great RTAs for doing audio, you know, hearing tests. But the electrical side, you're screwed. So we wanted to make sure that we, we've been trying to, to, to deal with this. And that's always, how do I know if I should tap into that speaker? How And this will do that. This will mm -hmm. tell you. 
like there's even a video already that, that we already did uh, just to show you. And I think it's the top one at the pot. So it's, it's like right here. Uh, how to use the IRTA2 to choose the right speaker for my sub amp. So I didn't want this to turn into an infomercial, but. But it's an infomercial. Uh, all right. When is the first Knowledge Fest of this year? Looking forward to your coverage of the Knowledge Fest. Dude, we are so looking forward to the coverage of the Knowledge Fest, too. It's going to uh, be... Vegas. Vegas. February 18th through the 20th. And yes, we will be doing all kinds of crazy coverage. It's expected to be one of the biggest Knowledge Fests in a long time, which is setting the bar kind of low, we know. But it's also where they're giving away all the awards and fun stuff like that. Right. So we're super excited. And I it's can't Vegas. wait. Um, and it's Vegas um geez christian really uh how much is your nice color handheld rta 150 or a thousand bucks uh at right now i think the paa3x is going for 800 bucks 800 bucks yeah yeah the six is like 12 that's why i don't have one at um, some point we're gonna get one. Oh yeah for sure why not because i gotta have it all uh are all the stinger amp wire kicks oxygen free copper no, they are not. Um, stinger, yes, yeah, straight stinger, they're all going to be OFC. Mm -hmm. Stinger Select, they make three kits. They make a, uh, a CCA. They make a mix, which is like a 70-30 or 60-40 or something like that. Uh, <laughs> copper to aluminum. And then they make a... OFC. OFC, yeah. So they make you three buy, separate yeah. kits. If you buy the Stinger, Stinger, not the Stinger Select, Stinger, 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 one hundred percent OFC. Yeah. yeah, you'll know by the price too. <laughs> exactly. Uh, which DSP? Oh, yeah. which DSP is better sound quality, Alpine or Helix? I don't know. I mean, I don't think I've ever. I mean, I had the Alpine in my car for like three years. Sounded great. Nah, I'm going to say Helix. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, it's money wise, performance wise, uh, the amount of work that they put into it. Yeah. Probably because Audio Tech Fisher, you know, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. But I mean, that's one of those weird things because I mean, a lot of times, like, which one sounds better? I mean, hey, listen, if you're, if, if you're trying to decide between Alpine and a Helix, there again. Pick the software you like. If, if you're asking me which one am I buying, um, I own them both. But if I had to decide, like, which one do I want to put in I, out of those two, I'd probably pick the Helix. But there again, they're tools. So what I'm using the Alpine for isn't necessarily what I'd want to use a Helix for. So I really don't care as much because it's a problem that I'm trying to fix so that's kind of how i look at it most of the time last one have you ever had a case where the amp pro or the amplifier power cycles three to four times after turning off vehicle and locking the doors everything does turn off but cycles on and off multiple times before finally going to sleep yes <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. um you okay? Well, yeah, the key fob yeah. being too close will do it. Um, but I think the, I think the Ford with the A to B did that in like one of the early revs, and then they put a timer in it that was like if it turns on and off so many times, then it, it like the, the simple solution was if they would just add timers that it's like oh okay. It, once a happens, if it happens for longer than five seconds, then turn on. Uh -huh. um, some of them, some of the early, they didn't figure that out. So yeah, it was like on, off, on, off, on, off, on. Uh, but yeah, keeping the key fob away from the car also, uh, if if it's a key sense car where when you, you know you can just hit the button like on a Ford, then yeah, you want to move the key fob away from the car. Uh. Sorry, this is for a 2015 Yukon with Bose. Yeah, Chevy. Yeah, go all the way to that right there. This one? Uh, that one. Do you know if changing the EQ selection to zero to flatten the EQ and force scan for an F-150 will not clip at max volume? 
non Sony or BO, I don't have the IRA to check myself. Yes, it will not clip. You'll get full signal out of that. Um, that is the same scenario as if you use the IDATA AR. So what IDATA did is they basically packeted the commands that Forescan does into the AR programming. So when you buy the AR, put it into the car, you use the steering wheel controls, it automatically does those things for you so you don't have to do the laptop thing. If you're comfortable with the laptop thing, obviously you can do that. It's cool. It does its thing. But the nice thing is, is you just leave the AR in the car and then when you need to take it out, you just do the steering wheel control opposite and it flashes it back to normal. But yes, uh, when you have that turned on, you're, you're golden. Uh, right there, up, up, right there. When hooking up the Pioneer 4660 NEX with the MFT1 kit in the 2018 F-150, where do you get power and ground? Also, where do I power and ground? And, uh, How do you control the um, 8608? Power and ground is going to come from the MFT1 kit. When you buy an MFT1 kit, it comes with a master harness. The master harness design, you need an RR for it. Mm -hmm. So you need the MFT1 kit and the iData RR. So there's two pieces, green box, big yellow box. Those two go together. Without them, it's not going to work. Um, so it's you're buying the hard goods. You need the brain. Uh, as far as where do you get the control for, where do you get the power for the audio control? You can do that one of two ways. You can uh, get to put a power distribution in the back and you can run a remote turn on so you can get constant 12 volts and ground from the main power distribution that goes to the amplifiers. Um, or if you want, you can run a power ground and remote turn on from behind the radio up to the DSP. Just make sure you put a fuse behind the radio if you're concerned and you don't, you know, if you're concerned about the wire run, because if you don't, then the first ground you have is over in the fuse box. So your burn path would be all up the side of the car through the radio with main wiring harness over in the fuse box. As if you put if you put a fuse behind the radio, then it would just burn below this fuse. So yeah. Yay. Uh getting all right. So Dustin, the same same question. Go back right there. Uh getting a lot of engine noise and static. I don't see why. Yeah, you shouldn't get any of that no. stuff, engineized or static. Uh, because you use it, like like you say, you're using the Maestro RR. Don't know, man. Like, what are you... Um, Johnny's chiming in here. It says, make sure, uh, make sure the ground to the frame or the battery. Um, I would go to the battery. But yeah, because remember, the car's, the car's aluminum. Mm -hmm. So if you are trying to use... If you are like, I don't want to run to the to the battery and I don't want to run to the frame, there's two ground points uh, that the factory use, which are on the rear firewall up by the windows. If you're not using one of those for a ground point, um, well, that, that will suck for one, but you know, you should go up to the battery. If you did go up to the battery, then your guess is as good as mine. Um, yeah. Can't wait for the Kenwood DMX 5707 to come back in stock. I know, right? You and me both. Uh, my bill says for Knowledge Fest. Which right, one? Right, right oh, for Knowledge Fest, do you book the hotel and Knowledge on the Knowledge Fest website? Yes, you can link. To, so what it'll do when you go to the Knowledge Fest website is you'll click on it. It'll take you to the hotel's website, and then you're, it, it'll, it'll auto-populate the event information in there, so you get the special room rate for that and then you go back over there and you register for knowledge fest so you can do everything but book your flight on there but it's gonna it's just a gateway it just takes you to their website and the hotel is actually pretty reasonable so oh that's a good one right there yeah what he says who uh one? my bill in the, in the bottom oh this one yes so maybe you plug the rcas when the radio was on oh it's a pioneer. pioneer yeah so, that would give you engine noise if, it, if the Pico fuse blew. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me go back to this. Uh, thank you, guys. I can't tell you how much appreciate help insight. Y'all are awesome. Forgive me. Just, oh, no problem. Yeah. Now, one other thing real quick before I forget on the RTI. I know I totally forgot about it. But 
Um, if you are going to be using um, a DMRTA so that you can do stereo into the DMRTA, I know the DMRTA looks like it can, but it can't. If you're a Kenwood user, Kenwood comes with this little cool four pin to backup camera. Pardon me, backup camera. This can be used with the IRTA to go audio out to your DMRTA or to your PA3X. So just just something to know. But we do give you in the instructions how to do it so you can make one yourself. All right. With that being said, yep. you know, with all this talk of the DMRTA, I'm sorry, with the IRTA2, the DMRTA, thank you, Audio Control, for sponsoring the show. Hey, it's still winter. It's not getting any warmer. At least, it, well, it is for us, but yeah. not for the rest of you guys. You can head over to DNF Tool Drawer, or sorry, DNFSwag.com. <laughs> I am having a hard time. This is what we get for coming back. So DNFSwag.com, you can pick up all the cool merch, uh, get yourself a nice hoodie so you can stay warm and, and you know, represent as you're doing it. Yeah. So head over there and pick yourself up one of those. And, of course, you can pick up the IRTA at DNFToolDrawer.com, the all-new, new-looking DNFToolDrawer.com. Um, really quick, meters and probes. When you click on meters and probes, it's going to take you to this page here where you're going to find like the PA3X, uh, DMRTA, all the audio control stuff, Andy's UMI-1, some digital multimeters that we use, some their test lead kits that we were talking about earlier. But if you scroll all the way to the bottom, polarity pulse tracks, left, center, right, I identification, as well as pink noise. These are all downloadable for you to have access to, to play with, to have all kinds of fun. So don't forget to use those. Yeah, that's it, guys. We made it through. Thank you for tuning in with us and playing along. Thanks for being part of the show. Don't forget, we'll be back Saturday on YouTube answering more of your questions. News is going to be Friday morning at 9 o'clock, as it always was. And, of course, you can find us over on Instagram where we do the five minutes of five star. Uh, we didn't do it today because I didn't have a phone. But we'll be doing it tomorrow, the day after, the day after, where you can ask questions and have all kinds of fun. And, of course, if you want to, you know where to find us for Knowledge Fest. However, if you are interested in going to the Master Tech Expo, it's in 55 days. Oh, my gosh. That's going to be March 6th through the 9th. We'll be there. It is in the Mesa Convention Center. Sign up, attend, pay the money. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's definitely going to be a lot of fun. We're super excited to be part of that. I will be doing a class with Andy Waymeyer of Audio Frog, so I'm looking forward to that. That'll be exciting, right? Yeah. Oh, and if you're going to Knowledge Fest, we will be teaching a couple classes, actually. Uh, Fernando will be doing some Spanish classes with Ricardo from Rangel, Monster mm -hmm. by Rangel. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I will be doing a class with Matthew Palumbo with Audio Control on... Um, I, uh, LOCs, basic line output converters, using what we call the trifecta of sound, where you're going to have uh, the LC, LC1i, LC2i Pro, and of course, the new Epicenter Micro, how the three of them work and how to sell them and all the other fun stuff. And then we will be doing our class on how to great shots, or what is it? What is it called? <sighs> Snapshot. Snapshots to great, great shots. shots. Uh, how to improve taking pictures and video and well, doing this, getting people to follow you. And uh, the, the idea behind the class is a lot of a lot of people say, hey, I wish there was somebody in my town that did what you did, or I wish there was somebody that cared as much as you guys did. Um, and we, of course, say, hey, take pictures, take video, show, share. And we're going to walk these guys on, walk these guys through the process, or at least our process, and how we do it and how we create so much content and have a lot of fun doing it. And with that, guys... You guys have a wonderful night. Thank you for tuning in on this wonderful Monday. We'll be back Saturday. Bye, See guys. You.